the James Webb Space Telescope recently captured an unexpected event. Pluto, the dwarf planet with Neptune. Pluto's peculiar orbit, inclined at 17 degrees and intersecting with Neptune's path, brought the two celestial bodies together. This rare spectacle provides astronomers with a unique opportunity to unravel the mysteries surrounding these distant members of our solar system. Pluto was founded by some scientists in 1930. Pluto was known as a planet, but eventually became a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Though it is not the whole planet, there are people who still find it fascinating. It features a thin atmosphere and has a very bright shine when it's near the sun. Some well-known scientists like Mikio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson are afraid that Pluto is about to collide with Neptune. They feel that there might be an accident in the future. Pluto is known for its unique orbit around the Sun, which takes a very long time to complete a single orbit, 248 years. Having been founded in 1930, it has still not completed its first full revolution yet. It is still a question mark for us how Pluto looks from the inside, and it seems it is a bit of a mystery. Pluto is the odd one out in the solar system when it comes to its orbit. It is not a perfect circle like the others, and its trajectory is also rather steep. At certain times, Pluto overcomes Neptune and approaches the Sun, which is a no less noteworthy fact. The curious crowd was puzzled why they were still able to walk. It is so because for space objects, the pull is different. Pluto's orbit has been studied by scientists since the day the planet was first discovered, and there was a complex path it took around the Sun. Differently, Pluto's track is not a plane, but it is steady as it is turning the way. This problem is also one of the general problems of the universe, a three-body problem, where scientists try to understand the motion and interaction of the planets like Pluto and Neptune with the Sun. It's like a cosmic puzzle of connecting the dots. This mystery has the real-life phenomenon of celestial body movements, which are plotted on their path from the origin and back to the original gravitational poles. It describes in detail the movement of Pluto, Neptune's journey, and the Sun's gravitational poles interaction. The three-body problem solution reveals the intricate gravitation forces that rule the motion of these objects, and with the increase of our knowledge not only about Pluto and the solar system, but also about other far-distant cosmic companions. According to the computer simulations of the late 1980s, Pluto's orbit is classified as chaotic, where the small changes in initial conditions lead to a major deviation in its orbit after millions of years. And although Pluto's orbit is a known feature of its regularity, it was discovered, however, that these characteristics of Pluto's orbit maintain stability during the time intervals, which are beyond human thinking. The simulations have been enhanced to understand the way in which the known large planets, like Neptune, Jupiter and Saturn, can affect Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune and Pluto differ from the others in the fact that they belong to neither the inner nor the outer solar system. The term apsidal libration is introduced to explain the phenomenon that Pluto was always at least 90 degree away from Neptune when it crossed its orbit. On the other hand, the deviation of Pluto's orbit from the ecliptic plane is called latitude libration. This phenomenon is the reason that the orbit of Pluto is very high above the ecliptic and only close to Neptune or any other large planet when it is near. Speaking of Pluto, it has two sides, a soft one and a hard one, which are complementary and at the same time, they protect Pluto. A group of scientists using the power of computer simulation discovered that the greatest deviation of Pluto's azimuthal liberation from Neptune was at around 300 years. This is due to the two planets three on two orbital resonance that claims Pluto orbits the Sun twice as Neptune does exactly three times. Pluto's path is straightened by the gravity of the Sun. Not everybody can be as generous as Neptune is. The orbit of Pluto, which is stable and predictable, is influenced by Jupiter's gravity. Similarly, Saturn is also responsible for a small ring system next to the one around Jupiter. 
These tests reveal the fact that Pluto can be made to move in a straight direction over billions of years or even more thanks to the power of the gravity of Jupiter acting by itself. They're kind of like planets in outer space that work together to create a safe and smooth journey for Pluto. The Earth matters and the laws of the universe are being applied to all the planets going around in space. The cosmos would be in chaos without the order giving events. The system we know would become totally different and less stable if only the systems would not work. For instance, when two bodies crash into one another, or if they move out of the path, this can be observed in Pluto. The notion of celestial events is difficult, especially if the planets they are about are Pluto-like, which have irregular orbits. The forecasts of these systems are by nature unpredictable, so it makes sense to refrain from long-term predictions. The simulated numerical data helps to foresee asteroids' future trajectory. The models that depend on the exact start conditions and have the ability to represent complex interactions that are complex exist to highlight the limits of our forecasting ability. Even though Pluto is the planet with the most unstable orbit, it is a significant point that tells us about the fact that the universe is constantly changing. Scientists who are staking their reputation on this theory have started to admit the possibility of the collision of Pluto and Neptune, even though these systems have very intricate relationships. This brings up the question of whether a ship of this sort can even collide, which is a complex task. Famous scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is an avid researcher, has given us a unique view on the secrets of our solar system and was key to the reclassification of Pluto. Tyson, who is known for his talent of simplifying astronomy for beginners, sees the reclassification of Pluto as a necessary decision that is congruent with our increasingly advanced knowledge of the universe. He considers Pluto's orbit as an indicator of the vast exploration still to be done in space. He believes it is the allure these riddles attract that makes astronomy so captivating. He thought there were chances of stirring interest in space exploration among people through events like Pluto's reclassification and unusual orbit. He gives the opportunity to every person to experience awe about the grandeur and mysteries of the universe. By his discussion of what are dynamic and often confusing aspects of space physics, Tyson is forewarning the public about the danger they may be exposed to because of Pluto's weird orbit. A collision with Neptune would, more or less, create a super shock wave that would probably only slightly heat up the surface. This would be an impact capable, more or less, of breaking Pluto due to its small size and matter being in a state of partial freezing, from which a huge amount of energy is released. Material from this collision could be thrown into outer areas of the solar system, possibly inflicting damage to neighbouring planets and their moons. Its immediate impact on Earth would be small, since the outer solar system is relatively distant from us, but the scientific implications could be massive. Indeed, the impact of a powerful telescope would be huge. It would even momentarily boost the brightness of Neptune beyond the threshold where it can be viewed as such with the naked eye from Earth, thus visible in our sky as a very dim star. And similarly to Tyson, Michio Kaku described how it would possibly make a clash related to his ideas about the universe. It would become an astrophysical event of a sort that might further take place once or a few times in history to make strict assumptions about string theory. In the vast space out there, TRAPPIST-1 is like a group of seven Earth-sized planets. They follow certain patterns because of how they pull each other with gravity, and sometimes this could lead to them bumping into each other. But surprisingly, even with their busy moves, these planets manage to avoid crashing into each other for now. Scientists are keeping a close eye on them, watching how each planet affects the others as they get close. The huge spaces between stars and the fact that usually only one or two planets are visible in the sky make these crashes pretty rare. So, TRAPPIST-1 is like a cosmic show where the planets twirl and spin and we're learning more about this amazing dance happening far away in space. It's a reminder of how cool and mysterious our universe can be. What do you think about this discovery? Let us know in the comments.
Now, since you have watched until this point, like subscribe and click on the must see video on your screen and let's explore some more together. Explore some more.